Hi, this is Shanna, and welcome to the Light Heart Fit channel, where I give you fitness and nutrition tips as well as exercises. And today we are talking about carbs. So many people say they're okay to eat, others people say they're not okay to eat, are they good, are they bad? So I have all the answers for you today. So let's go ahead and dive in. When you're trying to lose weight, there's really one thing that matters. So you have to burn more energy than you take in in the form of calories that you eat. We get calories from all of our different macronutrients. When we intake all of these things, our calories start adding up. If you have extra carbs and they don't have anywhere else to be stored, then yes, they will get converted to fat and stored as fat. So you have fat coming into your body that if not used, stored as fat. And then you have carbs coming into your body that if not used, stored as fat. So as you can see, if it gets calories in excess, it's going to store it as fat. And that's where we get the extra fat in our body. So whether you have carbs coming in, whether you have fat coming in, if you're not burning it and using it as energy, it's going to get stored. Either way, you're going to gain weight, no matter what you're consuming, if you're consuming more calories than you're burning. So that's point number one. Point number two, we can benefit from carbs because of the fiber that's found in carbs. There are different types of carbs that we just need to be aware of and eat some in moderation while swapping out some of the ones we have with others. So let me talk about, we've all heard simple carbs versus complex carbs. Simple carbs, they're maybe just one or two molecules, easily broken down, converted. So the good news about simple, so like if you're a runner and you need something fast, it processes really fast and you have something for energy right away. But we don't want that to always happen because we want our blood sugar levels to stay stable. And whenever we eat simple sugars, our blood sugar levels spike and then they drop. They spike and then they drop. And you know what the drop is? The drop is when we get really tired. Go eat a donut in the morning, like pops it off the walls, or our kids are. And then in a couple hours, we feel that slump. And the exact reason we feel that slump is because we've already processed all that energy. It's gone. We don't have it available to keep us energized. And so that's where complex cars comes into play. So these are your um, whole grains, like brown rice, like oatmeal, like quinoa, like whole wheat toast. So each of these have a more complex structure to them. And they also contain more fiber or fiber period. And so when that is digested, a whole lot more time for it to work its way through our system and the longer that food stays in our body the more full we feel the more satisfied we feel and so the benefit we get out of it is not only a stable blood sugar levels but we don't have that crash that urges us to want to go eat something else again this fiber helps that slow digestion, but then it also goes through our body, picking up toxins, picking, picking up stuff like bad cholesterol and helping to bulk up our stools and help us to get rid of all that stuff that we need. So side note, if you ever want to go on a detox, just eat more fiber. <laughs> the third point that I want to make is that it does not mean go crazy on carbs. So yes, we can lose weight while eating carbs. Yes, we can continue to have balanced plates. But what does that balanced plate look like? It doesn't look like all carbs, a little bit of veggies, a little bit of protein. It should be 
veggies and protein, and then carbs and fat are your smaller portions. And so if you notice where your plate is mostly carbs, that's where you need to start flopping stuff out. Knowing that carbs should not be the bulk of your diet, but can remain in your diet, you do not have to eliminate carbs to lose weight. Here's what you need to do. Step one, start paying attention to how much carbs are in your diet and deciding if it's the right portion. If you like rice, if you like pasta, if you like bread, you can keep eating it. But here's what I want you to do. I want you to make sure that you're not overflowing your plate with carbs. Make sure that less than half of your plate has carbs on it. The other side of your plate will have protein and will have veggies, but your carbs should be your smallest portion. Action item number two is pay attention to the carbs that you're eating and make healthy swaps. So you want to focus on whole grain carbs. And the reason for this is because if it's kept as a whole grain, that means that it wasn't stripped of all the fiber. Find those swaps. In addition um, to whole grains, other gray carbs are beans. Not only are these good with fiber, but they also are high in protein too. So you get the benefit of a carb that has fiber and protein. And of course, your fruit. And fruit, again, contains the fiber that's needed to process it at a slower pace. And you can enjoy each of these things in moderation. And I'm not saying completely ignore your fun carbs altogether, but find opportunities for swaps. So now you know carbs aren't bad. Carbs absolutely have a place within our diet. Carbs are needed for the fiber, for the nutrients, for the filling of being full if you're eating the right carbs which are the whole grain carbs or the minimally processed whole food carbs such as fruit. And um, again, like I said, vegetables, even though sometimes we say they're carbs, they're a league of their own because they are power packed with so many nutrients. And so I can talk about vegetables on another episode, but I hope you learned so much. I hope you don't fear carbs now and I hope you know that they have a place in your diet. I hope you enjoyed this episode. If you have any comments or have any questions, please let me know, add them to the comments and please make sure to subscribe and I will see you again soon. Bye.